Hello, this is Eric of NotBios Tech and Reviews, and welcome to my review of the Telencell battery pack. So here we can see we have different connections right there, and those connections are going to be like 9 volt, 12 volt, and of course USB for power. To charge this device, make sure the line is down, and when it's finally charged, you'll see this green light on the power adapter not fully charged it will be red now the cool thing is it's actually turned on already and ready to use if i flick it the other way the power is off so line minus sign down is turned on so here's the adapter it comes with which is the cable you see here and it also comes with this cable that you see here as well so this cable for instance i can connect to another power adapter i do happen to have which I have laying around. So I'm going to connect the one side, this black one to the black one, and this side to the power adapter because it's already yellow anyways. But I'm going to connect it to the 12 volt because that's what my red light therapy belt is. It's 12 volts. So does it work? Yes, it does. That's pretty darn cool. So 12 volts, that's 12 volts. And my red light therapy belt is now wireless. So here is my key light that I use when I go outside to record and here's a dummy battery. So this should allow me hopefully to connect this battery pack. So taking this here again, I'm going to take the cable, the actual cable used with this and see if this works. This will be a first time for me. So I don't know if this actually work. I'm going to connect to the nine volt area. Mind you, this is 8.4 input volts input. So this might be a bad thing. I'm hoping it's not, but it does connect just fine. So there's that. And <laughs> we have power. My key light has power and it worked. Wow. Yeah, I can go bright. So there we go. Now, one thing that's very important to note is if I don't turn this power off after I charge it, you can see that the lights are on. So if you want to turn it off, switch it off with a switch. That is one thing you may not expect as that's not something I expected to have to do. And this also means the battery pack's not gonna turn off on you by accident when you turn off the device and turn it back on as my battery bank does. That's attached to my camera. Now, if I turn my camera off, it won't turn back on after say about five, 10 seconds without me pressing the button on the battery bank. Well, this one, at least it will stay on. So this town cell battery is YB12011000 USB. And for the stats of this particular device, it tells me the 12 volts is six amps maximum, which is 72 watts. So our USB is a maximum of two amps and that's five volts. Five volts times two is 10 watts. And for our nine volts, it is rated for one amp. That is a maximum of nine watts of power. So what happens when I use all of these? Not necessarily maxing it out, but to try all of these connections. Well, let's try one by one, starting with the camera you're viewing me on right now. I have a camera with a dummy battery. We can see the dummy battery down here. I'm going to put that back into my camera. It's still not going to work because it's connected to this USB which is powered by a battery pack that we see right here. And if you're looking for any of these devices, I'll try to leave it in the description for the devices that I use. And then for press power, it's going to work now. And uh, so there we can see it's on. I got powered off, takes a moment to power down. What I want to do is connect it here. I'm going to connect one by one different devices to the different voltages. I'm going to connect the 12 volt, the 9 volt and the 5 volt all at the same time to see if this works. Let's start with the camera. So this camera is five volts, two amps. It happens to be the same rating as this device. Let's see if it powers on now. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's powered on. Now let's press record so I can actually see myself in the camera. So right now I'm actually recording with the camera. We can see the webcam right there, upside down. I'll flip it right side up on the screen when you're viewing the webcam. Now what I want to do next is power this key light on. This is an Aperture Amron F1. And I'm going to plug the one side to my dummy battery. Yes, I use a lot of those. 
It makes a lot of things uh, more convenient. Connect it to one device rather than fighting with battery after battery after charging a device and another device. And yeah, anyways, you get the picture. So let's plug this in to the 9 volt. And we can now see there's lots of light on the camera. I'm blinded by this right now. So I'm going to turn the power off and on. Yeah, that's bright. Oof. Now this red light therapy belt, and that's rated for 13 watts of power. And that's 12 volts, the input. So I'm going to connect this to the 12 volts. So right now we got the 5 and the 9, and now to the 12. And the moment of truth. And of course, listen to see if there's any sound in my audio that's messed up or anything like that. See if my camera's struggling as I turn this on, because I don't know yet. I didn't play this back, so this is my first time. So we can see the power is on. My red light therapy belt is on. 10 watts plus 9 watts plus 13 watts. 19, let's just make it 20 to think straight here, plus 13. That'd be 33 minus 1 watt. We're at 32 watts of total power. And so we can see on the camera, web camera, yes, we're running everything all together, all together. And uh, for the webcam to see, all together. So I did a bit of volt testing. And in case you wondered how, I used both cables together and I have these little leads right here. It's just a special adapter I have. After I ran this belt for an hour, plus my digital camera, plus my light that you saw, which I ran here and there, and I recorded a voltage without any load at 12.4 volts. At load, that dropped to 12.1 volts. Though if I let the charge go down lower, it'll eventually drop lower than 12 volts, but that's something to note. The power in the device is still showing, still after this time, showing full bars. You might notice we have this weird cable here. You might wonder why do we have this weird cable and then this cable? It's not just for 9 volts and 12 volts. We might have a trick up our sleeves here. Well, I'll connect this back to where it belongs because that has nothing to do with this. Here's the charging cable. It's plugged to the wall. That connects this little white thing. And it's charged to the charging block. But then I have this extra little connection. Hmm. So right now I'm actually using my camera and charging this device at the same time. So right now I'm running my digital camera while charging this device and using this red light therapy belt. So that's one thing that my battery bank cannot do. I cannot charge and use my camera at the same time. So this talent cell, well, indeed does have some talent. This is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to check out my movie, Defeated by Darkness. Just type that in on YouTube, Defeated by Darkness darkness and check out my movie episode two also links the blow to audio one year subscription at 70 percent off discount code in the description below check out audio for your music and sound effects needs thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day oh and for those that wondered this is not a review sample i specifically did not let the company know it was me ordering this product because I wanted to make sure I had a fair, absolutely fair review of their product. And of course, I'll be using this for quite some time. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the video description. And the reason I actually purchased this was to actually run my red light therapy belt. So now you know.